You want to cut the GT2 belting that came with your kit. We're going to cut three equal lengths of two feet. They don't need to be very exact, just try to get them as close as you can. You'll see later that we have plenty of slack in each belt for adjustment. Now we're going to thread the x-axis belting. First, we're going to adjust the pulley to make sure that it's in line with the smooth idlers. So loosen the set screws a little bit so that the pulley will slide on the shaft of the motor. And then take the very end of the pulley and line it up with the very end of the smooth idler. When you have it in place, tighten the set screws as much as you can without stripping them. Now we're going to take one length of the GT2 belting and kind of curl the end. You want to curl the smooth part so that we can thread it through here. The belt needs to go between the pulley and the idler and underneath the idler to the outside. Make sure that the teeth of the belt are facing down and touching the maker side. Next we're going to feed that end of the belt through a belt clip. You want to go down through the top of it first and then up through the bottom creating a loop. This loop will keep the belt from slipping. Then use the insertion nut that we put in the maker slide earlier to secure the belt clip with a small screw. You'll want to flush this belt clip with the Y motor mount plate and tighten down the screw. You repeat the same process. Thread the belt through the other side of the X carriage. After you threaded it, you'll notice that the belt goes under one smooth idler, over the pulley, and under the other smooth idler. Now we'll put the end of the belt that is not yet secured into another belt clip. And notice how I'm adjusting the length of the belt that goes through the clip until it's about the screw length away from the Y motor plate. You'll want to put the long screw through the belt clip first, and then the small screw afterwards. After you've put the belt through the belt clip, make sure that the teeth of the belt lock against each other. The more teeth that are in contact with each other, the better the belt will stay in place. Tighten the small screw all the way into the other insertion nut that we put into this piece of maker slide earlier and then loosen it a little bit so that you can slide the clip. Next, feed the long screw through the corresponding hole of the Y motor mount plate and add the nut on the outside. You can tighten the long screw and the nut in order to tension the belt. When you've tightened the belt enough, it should be taut like a guitar string. After you've tensioned the belt, tighten the small screw, and this will hold the belt clip in place on the maker slide. Check the alignment of the Y-axis pulleys with the smooth idlers. If you need to, loosen the set screws and make sure that the end of the pulley lines up with the end of the smooth idlers, just like we did on the X-axis. Now we're going to put belting onto the Y-axis. You want to slide the belting underneath the two smooth idlers and then pinch it together to make a loop and you can pull that loop over the pulley. And then just like before we're going to feed the belt through the belt clip. Make sure that as many teeth as you can manage interlock with each other with the belt and then put another small screw into one of the insertion nuts that we put into this maker slide. Snug this belt clip up with the end plate and tighten it down. Then put the other end of the belt through another belt clip. Put the long screw through the top hole of the belt clip. 
and the small screw into the bottom one. You'll tighten the small screw all the way and then loosen it a little bit so that the belt clip can slide. And then feed the long screw through the hole in the end plate and put the nut on the other side. Just like the x-axis, we'll use this belt clip to tension the belt. Tighten it enough to get the belt taut like a guitar string. You'll repeat this whole process on the other piece of Y-Maker slide with the rest of the belting that came with your kit. After you've tensioned your second Y-axis belt, make sure that the second Y-belt is the same tension as the first one.